Who's hot? Who not? Tell me who rock? Who sell out in the stores? You tell me who flop? Who cop the blue drop? Who jewels got blocks? Who mostly go shit down to the blue drop? The same old pimp, mace. You know ain't nothing changed but my limp. Can't stop till I see my name on the blimp. Guarantee me and tell. Morning, y'all. So I look like crap, but that's besides the point. If you're wondering why it's so dark outside, it's because I'm supposed to be at work at 7:30 today. I'm working 7:30 to 4:30. It's a long day, but more coin for me. So um. I'm going to upload my vlog from two days ago today and then I'm probably going to put this up later on tonight but um, or like later on in the day. So I have just been extremely stressed out. Okay, so those of you who are new or those of you who's been there and just don't understand my living situation, I just want to clear it up. So when I moved down to North Carolina, I was in my own apartment. Kendall was just always around so most people don't understand that. but. Then there ended up being some ceiling complications. Like the ceiling had to come down and the apartment wasn't safe, but they wanted us to renew our, or not renew our lease, to stay in the apartment before we go to another apartment, all this other mumbo jumbo. So I ended out my lease, which also seemed to be a good thing to do because my friend was supposed to move from Maryland down to North Carolina. So I'm like, okay, that's good. I'll be living with somebody I actually know, yada, yada, yada. So I left out of my apartment November 17th. And the idea was my friend didn't graduate until December 18th. So probably like around Christmas time, she would make her way down here. So we had found a place and all of that stuff. But a little bit after... No, it was the Monday after December 18th. She broke the news to me that she was not coming down. So that whole time I had been looking for a two bedroom apartment or townhouses for us. And it was kind of a waste because, you know, she didn't come. And I was looking for two bedrooms, not even thinking about ones and all of that. And I missed out on some deals. So basically since that Monday, I've been looking for places and places are outrageous let's say i find a place a nice place for 950 this is just a random number which doesn't include anything y'all think about this if i'm spending 950 on a one bedroom apartment and then let's say 10 to 20 dollars on a water bill it's cold outside so one to 150 if even that on um electricity and then y'all know i need internet because of youtube and because I don't want to be bored as hell in my apartment and then I'm spending 80 maybe 90 I might even do the package so cable and internet together probably will run me like one two hundred dollars where's my livelihood you get what I'm saying where where am I going to eat where am I gonna put gas in my car where am I gonna have fun if I'm sitting here spending what is that like twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars on just to live ridiculous and then, um, what, what else? Some places that I find affordable, they want, let's say if I find an apartment that's $500, they want a $500 security deposit, $50 application fee, $200 administrative fee, $100 holding fee. Do y'all get where I'm coming from? I know for a fact that I, there's not everywhere in this doggone place that I have to put down literally $2,000 to get a place to stay. You know, I've, I've been out on my own since I've been 19 and when I lived in Lynchburg for four of those years, literally it was just quick as could be like at the most a $500 um, which we call it? security deposit at the most um, and that was my last place that I lived and I just split that with Erica that was more reasonable than to pay $600 or y'all know what I'm saying but y'all I'm just stressed I'm ready to move like I don't like my living situation I don't like the fact that I'm not able to produce anything but vlogs for y'all because I know some people don't only come to my channel for vlogs that's what's making me mad and I know that my my views are dropping not not so much you're not really dropping but I'm not seeing as much as I did in December um, my money isn't growing as much and it's just like I feel like I'm kind of disappointing y'all but yeah I'm just I'm over it y'all I'm over it. 
And y'all, this is probably just going to be a car vlog because I'm at work all day. I'm pretty sure when it's time to get off, I will be going to sleep because I'm tired as hell. But yeah. So today, basically, while I was at work, I was just trying to figure out the best housing situation for myself. Number one, looking for something that includes all the amenities that I need. And then also looking for, if not all, then it's not a whole rack of money. And then also looking for something where it's not, I'm not sitting here pretending like I got it when I don't have it. So, um, previously before when um, I thought I was going to live with my friend Ashley, we looked into a townhouse that I was really interested in and I actually really, really liked the, the, um, the townhouse. So, it's, it's a two bedroom, one and a half bath, but the one bathroom upstairs is huge. So, um, enough storage and everything. So, I actually really, really liked it. Um, and we were actually gonna go through with it and get a three bedroom just so we can always have um, room for gas and stuff like that so my mind raced back to that and they're also doing a free um, rent in February so which means that we would only pay the prorated amount for January and then we won't have to worry about any bills up until February I mean March which is also very awesome so my mind raced back to that in the rent it includes water and um cable which is good which is something that i know that i would want probably not right away but i knew that i would want it then additionally internet is just ten dollars literally y'all like no matter what cable company you call whether it's comcast or tom warner cable or whatever other cable no internet is ten dollars none at all so that was a pro for me and then um it doesn't come with washer and dryer but they do have a cheap washer and dryer rental and then there's also this app called offer up where people sell things relatively cheap too so if we decide that we want to get a washer and dryer um for a hundred and dollars for a hundred and dollars for a hundred dollars or so that will be okay as well so it's really affordable and then I'm happy because it's a townhouse so there's an upstairs, there's a downstairs and then there's an extra room for when my friends come to visit or anybody's parents or anything along those lines as well as a YouTube room. So I'm super, super, super excited. Um, we just have to figure out when we would be going in but I know for a fact that Kendall leaves to go to Atlanta next weekend and I'm not staying in his apartment while he's not going so I want us to move by the 21st but no later than the 24th um that's I think the 24th is a Saturday so definitely no later than that but y'all I'm super excited I'm so proud of myself I know it's only the 15th day of January 15th day of the new year so anything can change but I'm really really proud of myself so I'm just sitting here trying to calculate a balance on a bill that I'm trying to eliminate um, I'm even paying it when I don't have payments due that way I'm quickly getting rid of the bill I'm putting money aside into my savings account I don't know if I've already told you this but my my goal was to save $20 a month um, I know that doesn't seem like a lot to y'all but I've explained before and I will do a sit down um, money video if when I get a place to sit down and do a money video but I've owned I decided to say I will save at the least $20 a month because I know how hard it is for me to save money and right now just halfway through the month I've already saved $20 so how I calculated it was to save $5 a week and I know some people are laughing at this and they're like girl really yes y'all really <laughs> so I've already saved twenty dollars and I'm proud of myself and I'm already saving my coins as well that's about fifteen dollars so I'm doing really really well you know if I keep this up I can save about 40 a month if not more and I was calculating the expenses for the new place everything just seems to be coming into place and I'm so 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 happy so with that being said, I just got a message from one of my subscribers and one I just feel the need to talk to y'all really fast. I feel like some YouTubers have killed the whole interacting with um, either small YouTubers or subscribers because it's gotten to the point where people think me, little old dusty me, won't answer their messages and they literally have a heart attack and be like, oh my God, you actually responded. Oh my God, y'all. 
y'all. Y'all know I'm not doing anything that I can't respond to an email, to a text, to a message, a snap, or something. If I don't respond to you within an hour, I'm really busy, but I always respond, especially when it's things like Snapchat and and Instagram, those are my really quick go-to reply thing. Twitter it might take me a little bit longer because I'm not frequently on Twitter like that. Um, but honestly, I've watched some bigger YouTubers, and this is not shade. This is just some something I've noticed. I feel like some YouTubers don't really have an appreciation for their subscribers. And honestly, I will forever, ever be very grateful for my subscribers. Y'all... Where would people be if people never subscribe to their channel? You know what I'm trying to say? I hate how sometimes people get really big or they get bigger and their heads get pumped up. Whereas when their subscribers ask them questions on social media, they think they're so big that they can ignore them. Or, y'all, come on now. Like, how would you feel if you knew Chris Brown could respond to you, but he wouldn't? Like, come on. Bruh, I'd be pissed. <laughs> so, I mean, I just want to tell y'all, you know, when when I answer your messages and stuff, please don't be surprised. I really, really do respond to everybody. If I've never responded to you, I apologize, but I strongly doubt. I, I'm pretty much sure I think I answer almost 99.9% .9 of people that message me and stuff like that. Um, So, yeah, I, I just thought I should throw that in there, but all right.